Again, I've been meaning to put this one online for, I've had it for a while. It's today's laundry day, so I don't really have anything to do while I'm waiting for my next load to dry. So it's like, let's do something useful. I don't know. Let's do this instead. What I've got here is a telescope mount. I've had this for a couple of months now. Fortunately, it's been cloudy here almost every single day. Oh well, what are you going to do? Um, this is called the Sky Watcher, which is a brand of telescope also, the AZ-GTI. Um, I'll get into this part in a minute here. Basically what this telescope mount is, and they haven't been available until just recently, this mount it looks rather simple compared to some telescopes mount you see. I've seen some that look very sophisticated and very expensive. Um, this this isn't cheap, it's a couple hundred dollars. Um, but what it is, it's a Wi-Fi compatible telescope mount. So the thing I like about it is you don't really have to be that much of an egghead to operate it. You basically turn it on, runs on batteries or alternate power. You turn it on and this unit sends out a Wi-Fi signal. You take your trusty smartphone and you simply hook it up to your to the to the mount. I don't know if I actually need to show you how to do that. I think most people really can understand it. Um, but how this works is there's a an app you can download from anyone right there. It's called SkyScan. You hit that and it basically will hook up to the telescope mount. And it also does a lot of other things. Uh, once you get this connected to your smartphone, this app kind of takes over and it can really do some amazing things. Um, such as, the first thing you do is you put your telescope on and your mount of course is on a tripod which I have um, you know, it's hooked up to your Wi-Fi then you have to align it and it's pretty simple how you align this you simply point the telescope north and make sure it's level and then the telescope does the rest it'll ask you to zoom in on a couple of uh, very prominent stars and the telescope itself, you just push go, and this unit moves your telescope, pointing at the star that you pointed out on the app. So when you do that, you line it up with two stars. Um, all you have to do is go into the app and say, I want to see the Orion Nebula. You push that button, and this unit will turn and point your telescope directly at it. And not only that, it will follow that object through the rotation of the Earth. In other words, you're looking at the moon, and you know the moon, usually what happens when you're looking really close, the moon moves out of view really fast. Um, this one actually turns with the moon, so it never goes out of the frame, so you can have some pretty good viewing sessions with that. Also, the thing down here, which I actually haven't used, but I would imagine it's it's kind of important that when you do adjust your telescope and you have it lined up so it's polar north they call it um, let's say you want to view something else just you want to quickly move the telescope which you can do I mean you you can adjust this knob here that way and you can do this you can move the telescope to any point you want uh, the point is this telescope will always remember what's level north so in other words, after you're done looking at whatever you happen to, um, you can go back to level north, the original coordinates, and then you can use that. Um, there's so many things on the app. In the old days, when you had a, a good mount, you had to know a lot of things. Like, you had to know, first of all, where you are on the Earth in terms of longitude, latitude, that kind of thing. And you had to plug it into some not really complicated formulas, but it's um, something you got to do and you got to get it right. Otherwise, your telescope isn't going to be oriented the way you think it is or the way you want it. 
Um, like so many things, the smartphone does all the brain work for you. You simply you say you push it and you say, ah, what's what's out there tonight? Like you say, uh, deep sky. You hit that, and it tells you you want to go to a certain object in the deep sky. Um, star. It tells you what's going on out there. I don't know if you can see that. My phone's kind of bright. Um, but you hit that, and it tells you all the things of interest that are in that sky tonight. And say you want to see Mars. Is that what it says? Yeah, Mars. You just hit Mars, and the telescope goes right to Mars for you, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it is rough on batteries. The thing uses eight AA batteries. And I've already went through a whole whole bunch of them, but they weren't exactly fresh, so you know, hopefully they they last a while. But the the telescope that I have um, didn't come with a good tripod, so I got the tripod when I got the mount. It goes on with this item here, just screws into the bottom, and then this piece sets into your tripod. Um, there's a little extension you can get for your tripod if you want, and I have mine on there, but I don't really know if I need it. But yeah, you just stick it on your tripod and, um, you know, charge that baby up, and it will pretty much, once you get it aligned properly, which again, is super easy to do, it will find any object in the sky, maybe a star, uh, another galaxy, the moon, Mars, the sun, if you happen to want to watch it in the daytime, which I do, and I've taken precautions, by the way. The only thing that I'm not really super keen on is there's a nice big knob for the up and down orientation. It's right there, and you unloose it, and you can make your telescope oriented up and down. It's the this part. Um, the cam that controls and keeps it steady is right here. And it's kind of on the small side, and I just wish it was bigger and more robust. Um, because I just am afraid I'm going to break it. Um, but other than that, no, it's a, it's a very fine idea. Uh, they sell, I think this is a couple years old version. I think there's another version out now, which has probably got some more bells and whistles on it. But for the average beginner astronomer like I am, um, this is actually something that's it does the hard work for you basically um, all you need is a is a halfway decent telescope I mean my telescope isn't what you'd call super it's it right there it's a sky watcher sky max 102 and it's kind of the I don't know I guess you could say the puny version of the sky max but it's a good telescope it's a different type of telescope I've always had a reflector or a refractor I've had telescopes since I was a kid but that one is a is a different style yet, which I'm still getting used to. I haven't really decided if I like it better or not. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, if you want to just, you know, casual look at the moon or, or some planets out there, that would be a good one. And like I said, the ease of use really makes it a, I don't know if I could say a good deal, because I don't really know what the price range is on some of these. I've seen some of them I've seen that are a lot more expensive, so this might be fairly reasonable if you if you're into that sort of thing so there you go um, if you have any questions I don't know if I can answer them necessarily but I'll do my best thanks